Will Newhar through Harlan has uh, shown well here in the 100 and the 200 at the conference meet. Take us through that 200 and uh, did you have one of your better races? Oh uh, yeah, 200 went pretty good. I didn't get out really well in the box, had to make up a lot of ground for my teammate, but me and him just out here competing, so I could have ran it better, but me and him going one and two in the 200, can't ask for anything better, so. Was Cade pushing you pretty good? Yeah, he was pushing me 100 and 200 today. We both competing, he's still getting better and better. It kind of makes you feel like I'm getting worse and worse, but as long as he's going one and two or if I'm going one and two, it doesn't matter. You're not ever going to let him beat you, though, are you? <laughs> I mean, if he does, I could care less. If he's my teammate beating me, then it's fine, but if it's someone else, then we got a problem. How about your 100-meter dash today? How'd it go? Same thing. Just blocks were iffy today. I don't know what was going on, but Cade had me again through 85-90 and just kept, make me kept pushing. Came down to like a hundredth of a second, I'm pretty sure, so it was a good race. How much progress have you been able to make with your times from last year to this year? Uh, this year, Last year, I was probably running these marks without with back wind, so a lot of progress just from Coach Carney and Lifton and this summer and all the other sports I do, I think all help with track, so a lot of progress from last year this year. Have you had many good days yet to run weather-wise? We had one good day at Drake, and then first meet of the season, we had some crosswind, but otherwise it's been headwind or, cro or a little bit of crosswind. Never wind at our back or no wind at all. So we're just still waiting on one of those days, I guess. How was your experience at the Drake Relays? Drake was really good. We had some, some things go wrong, some things that we didn't want to happen, but with those time, if our 4 by 2 didn't DQ, our time was a school record, and then maybe not with our best guys. 4 by one to say you're top eight in the whole state in a 4 by one It's a crazy feeling. And then top 11 with my buddy right at 13th. It's just a crazy feeling. Drake Relays went probably about as good as you can go for us. Tell me about that 4 by one and 4 by 2 just over the course of the season. There have been some different people involved, but uh, what's it been like running on those teams that have been really successful? St start of the year, 4 by one 4 by 2 kind of stayed the same, same kind of uh, organization as last year, then made some changes, and then first meet out with those changes, we PR'd broke school record in 4 by one 4 by 2 Recently, uh, Aiden Hall ended up getting a little banged up, so should be back next week. And, get all of our good guys and hopefully make a run at state. Your times have started to really catch the attention of some pretty big programs. You've gotten some offers here this season. How exciting has that been? It's been really exciting. It's always it makes you feel, it feels really good once when you have a high level programs reach out to you and want you to continue at the next level. So definitely considering running in college. What were some of the things you did in the off season that have helped you improve this much? Uh, probably just, like I said, lifting with Coach Carney. I lifted, lifted my butt off this summer, and if I never started lifting, I definitely wouldn't be right here getting interviewed or running that Drake or being top 10 in the state or something like that. So, Coach Carney, I owe him the world for my track progress so far. Well, congrats on a great season so far. Thanks for your time. Thank you.